Students, what are the important aspects about hypertrophic cardiomyopathy? HCM occurs as a result of mutation in the beta myosin heavy chain, especially the MYH7 or the MYBPC3 gene. It is inherited in an autosomal dominant manner and it results in the myocardial fibers being arranged in a total disarray, which leads to an increased risk for arrhythmias. Pathology wise, we will notice that the patients have asymmetric septal hypertrophy along with systolic anterior motion of the mitral valves leading to mitral regurgitation and a dynamic left ventricular outflow tract obstruction. They will also have diastolic dysfunction of the heart with an increased risk for arrhythmias. Clinical features, patients will have pulses bisphrens and broken bro phenomenon which is post VPCs they will have a paradoxical drop in the pulse pressure. On cardiac palpation, they may be double or even triple apical impulse. They will also have subvalvular aortic stenosis and the murmur of this lesion actually reduces on squatting, hand grip and leg raising. It increases on valsalva maneuver. Treatment wise, we have a new drug which is Mevacamptin, a beta myosin inhibitor for HCM. And otherwise, drug of choice is beta blockers. You can also use verapamil like calcium channel blockers. Three classes of drugs which are contraindicated in HCM include digoxin, nitrates and diuretics. Septal myotomy can be attempted or alcoholic septal ablation can also be given to those who don't respond to medical therapy. ICD needs to be inserted in anybody who's had either a documented ventricular tachycardia sustained or ill-sustained or has had cardiac arrest or syncope in the past or a family history of sudden cardiac death or if the patient have a left ventricular wall thickness of greater than 30 mm or if there is a paradoxical drop in blood pressures to exercise.